Welcome back to the realm of Ambrosia, my friends. Today we're diving into a topic that's as exciting as it is enlightening. The power of bilingualism. In this video, we'll journey into the intricacies of the human brain and explore how learning a new language can unlock a whole new world of cognitive abilities, social benefits, and personal growth. So get ready, and let's start this fascinating exploration into the world of languages and the human brain. The journey promises to be as thrilling as the destination. Let's dive right in. Imagine a world where you can appreciate a foreign film without subtitles, or effortlessly navigate through the streets of a city halfway around the globe. Beyond the thrill of being able to communicate with people from different cultures, bilingualism offers a wealth of benefits that extend far beyond the realm of communication. It's like owning a passport that allows you to traverse the boundaries of cultures and connect with a myriad of people worldwide. But did you know that learning a new language can actually rewire your brain and enhance your cognitive abilities? Yes, my friends, the bilingual brain is a fascinating landscape of enhanced neuroplasticity and increased cognitive function. When you learn a new language, you're not just memorizing new words and grammar rules. You're actually reshaping the very structure of your brain. In particular, the hippocampus and cerebral cortex, regions of the brain responsible for memory and learning, undergo a fascinating transformation. Research has shown that language acquisition can cause an increase in the size of these brain regions. This is due to a phenomenon known as neuroplasticity, which is the brain's inherent ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections throughout life. It's like your brain is a city, and learning a new language is like constructing new roads, bridges, and buildings. And the benefits don't stop there. Bilingualism can also enhance your working memory improve your attention span, and even make you a more empathetic person. It's like giving your brain a workout and becoming a more understanding human being in the process. As you can see, learning a new language does more than just expand your vocabulary. It opens up a whole new world of opportunities and benefits. So why not give your brain a treat and embark on the enriching journey of language learning? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the wonders of the bilingual brain. Did you know that learning a foreign language can literally change the size and structure of your brain? Yes, you heard it right. Let's break it down. Picture this. Deep within your brain, there's an area called the hippocampus. This isn't a campus for hippos, but rather an important part of your brain that plays a crucial role in learning and memory. Beside it, you'll find the cerebral cortex, a layer of neural tissue that among other things, processes language. Now. When you start learning a new language, these areas don't just light up on a brain scan, they physically grow in size. Imagine your brain as a muscle and learning a new language as your workout. The more you exercise or learn, the stronger and bigger your brain becomes. But it doesn't stop there. Let's dive into the concept of neuroplasticity. It might sound like a fancy term, but it's essentially your brain's ability to reshape itself. Think of it like Play-Doh. Just as you can mold Play-Doh into different shapes, your brain can change its structure in response to new experiences, stimuli, or cognitive demands. And yes, learning a new language is one of those demands that can trigger this incredible transformation. You see, when you learn a new language, you're not just memorizing vocabulary and grammar rules. You're creating new neural pathways, reshaping the pattern of functional neurons in your brain. And the most fascinating part, this can happen rapidly and at any age. You might have heard the saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well. When it comes to the brain and language learning, that's simply not true. So, next time you're struggling with conjugations or pronunciation, remember this. With every word you learn, with every sentence you construct, you're doing more than just acquiring a new skill. You're reshaping your mind, stimulating your brain's growth and flexibility. The power of language is truly extraordinary, isn't it? Let's dive deeper into the fascinating world of the brain's gray matter. Picture a world where the mere act of learning a new language can reshape the very fabric of your brain. That's not just a flight of fancy, it's an exciting reality, as shown by a 2012 study that measured structural changes in the prefrontal and temporal cortices. These are areas of the brain that play a crucial role in attention, memory, and language processing. But first, let's take a step back and explain what gray matter is. It's made up of the cell bodies of neurons, which are essentially the think tanks of your brain. Gray matter is associated with intelligence, attention, memory, and language processing. Now contrast this with white matter. White matter is more like the superhighway of your brain, carrying nerve impulses between neurons. It connects different regions of gray matter and determines the speed of information processing and memory recall. 
So, in World of the Brain, gray matter is where the magic happens. It's where ideas are born, memories are stored, and languages are processed. White matter, on the other hand, is the messenger, delivering these ideas, memories, and words to different parts of the brain at lightning speed. Back the 2012 study, it found that learning a new language could increase the density of gray matter in the brain. The more dense the gray matter, the more neurons are packed into a given area, which could mean better cognitive capabilities. Interestingly, this increase in gray matter density was not correlated with the degree of language proficiency. This suggests that the very act of learning a second language, regardless of how well you master it, can lead to this remarkable brain transformation. Isn't it amazing how learning a new language can impact such fundamental aspects of our cognition? It's like giving your brain a workout, and just like your muscles, the more you exercise it, the stronger it gets. So if you've been thinking about learning a new language, remember, it's not just about adding a new skill to your repertoire, it's also about giving your brain a much needed boost. Now, let's look at how bilingualism can enhance our working memory. Working memory, it's like a mental sticky note that keeps track of short-term information. Imagine it as a mental workspace where we store, process, and manipulate information. It's what helps you remember the grocery list while you're shopping or the new acquaintance's name at a party. One key aspect of working memory is the phonological loop, a speech-based format for holding information. Now, on to the fascinating bit. Studies have shown that bilinguals, those who speak more than one language, have a considerable edge over monolinguals when it comes to tasks requiring working memory. Their response rate is more accurate during trials, suggesting that bilinguals have an advantage in executive functioning. In simple terms, they're better at juggling tasks, making decisions, and solving problems. But that's not all. Bilinguals have also been found to outshine monolinguals in tests that tap into areas of the brain unrelated to language processing. They demonstrated a superior visual-spatial span, indicating that the benefits of bilingualism extend beyond language processing and into more general areas of cognition. Here's an interesting case study. Participants underwent an intensive German course and were examined before and after approximately five months. The results were striking. Researchers noted an increase in gray matter, the brain area associated with intelligence, attention, memory, and language processing. And this increase didn't correlate with the degree of language proficiency, suggesting that the effect was directly due to second language acquisition. So what does this all mean for you? Well, learning a second language could give your brain a significant boost, enhancing your working memory and other cognitive abilities. It's like a gym workout for your brain, but instead of lifting weights, you're conjugating verbs and memorizing vocabulary. So next time you're struggling to remember something, maybe try learning a new language. It might just be the mental workout your brain needs to stay sharp and agile. After all, who wouldn't want a brain that's bilingual, brawny, and brilliant? Beyond the cognitive benefits, there are also fascinating social benefits to being bilingual. In fact, bilingualism can be a powerful tool in fostering empathy and social awareness, the cornerstones of human connection. When you learn another language, you don't just learn new words and grammar rules. You're also diving into a new culture, a new way of thinking, and a new way of understanding the world. This process naturally increases your empathy. You start to recognize that different people can have different perspectives about the same event. You begin to appreciate the diversity of human experiences and viewpoints, and this opens your heart to others in a profound way. Now, let's talk about some historical figures who were bilingual and how it contributed to their success. Mahatma Gandhi, for instance, was fluent in three languages, Gujarati, English, and Hindi. This linguistic versatility enabled him to connect with different communities, from rural farmers to British officials, and effectively lead India's independence movement. Similarly, Nelson Mandela, who could speak multiple languages, used his linguistic skills to bridge racial and cultural divides in South Africa. He once said, If you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his language, that goes to his heart. This encapsulates the power of bilingualism in fostering empathy and understanding. In the realm of science, Albert Einstein, a competent speaker of German and English, used his bilingualism to communicate his groundbreaking theories to the world. His ability to converse in more than one language broadened his influence and allowed his ideas to resonate with a global audience. So, as we see, being bilingual doesn't just boost your brain power. It can also enhance your social skills, increase your empathy, and open doors to new cultures and experiences. 
It allows you to connect with people on a deeper level and can even contribute to your success in various fields. So not only does learning a new language make you smarter, it might just make you a nicer person too. Learning a new language can be a fun and satisfying journey. It's like embarking on an adventure into a new world, filled with new sounds, new ideas, and new ways of expressing yourself. It's a journey that can enrich your life in countless ways, from improving your cognitive abilities to widening your cultural horizons. Remember, age is not a barrier to learning a new language. In fact, adults often have advantages over children when it comes to language learning, such as an existing knowledge of grammar rules and a more developed vocabulary. The benefits of learning a new language far outweigh the challenges. Sure, it can be tough at times, but the rewards are immense. Not only will you be able to communicate with more people, but you'll also gain a deeper understanding of other cultures and ways of life. You'll boost your brain's health and flexibility, and you might even see improvements in other areas of your life, like your career or your social relationships. So if you've been thinking about learning a new language, don't let anything hold you back. It's a journey that's more than worth it, and you might just surprise yourself with how much you enjoy it. Remember, it's not about reaching perfection, but about enjoying the process and reaping the benefits along the way. So take that first step, dive into a new language, and see where the journey takes you. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to the Realm of Ambrosia, a place of beauty, free of falsity, where you can regularly partake of the food of gods for your body, soul, and spirit.